Hey guests and welcome back to the Rogers House. And it's day eight of the 12 Days of Christmas Countdown. Hosted by the Queens of Christmas Holiday Decor Club with main host Lady Alley from Glam Elegant Living and her co-host of which I will link all of our channels down in the description box so that when you finish watching my video you can go over to see what these phenomenal creators have created to get you ready for the Christmas season. So the Rogers House is thinking outside the box and trying to be creative. So yes this is what happened on the previous days. So guess for day eight, I'm going to show you how to make butter in a mason jar. And of course, you'll need a mason jar and you'll need heavy cream or heavy whipping cream. So a quick suggestion is to let the cream sit out to room temperature because it makes the shaking process um, a little shorter. If it's straight from the fridge, it will take about 15 minutes versus three to five minutes uh, for room temperature. So you pour the heavy cream into the mason jar and you put the lid on tight and you start to shake as vigorously as you can and you are going to get a arm workout. So, as you can see, I'm showing you how the butter starts to form. Then you pour the buttermilk off of the butter. So you pour the buttermilk off. And then you pour in some cold water to rinse the rest of the buttermilk. Now you can save the buttermilk that you poured off initially to make cornbread, pancakes, cakes, etc. So 
So after rinsing off the buttermilk, I am getting ready to make some honey cinnamon butter. I've already made some just plain salted butter, which was absolutely great. Um, and you will see me putting in the honey, cinnamon, and the vanilla extract. And then I put in like a pinch of salt to taste. I'm stirring that all around, mixing in the ingredients, and then I pour it into my mixing bowl so that I can incorporate the rest, I mean, incorporate those ingredients more uh, fully. Then I place that in a mason jar, and under my broiler, I crisp up some French baguette rounds using the salted butter, and then I spread some of the honey butter on three slices as well. And guys, this is really, really good. It spreads easily. You just put it in the refrigerator after you have made it, and it still will be more the consistency of a spread. But I will leave the recipe down in the description box. So guess this would be a cute little project with your grandchildren or your children by getting just a little baby food jar and pouring the cream, uh, heavy cream in and that fits, you know, right in their little small hands and then you can shake, um, have them shake it up vigorously. They have more stamina than we do. And, um then you can give this as a cute little gift to the elderly or to teachers. You could um, definitely have the butter in a mason jar, add uh, some croissants and a cute little spreader, put all of that in a basket, and then you have a cute little inexpensive gift to give to your friends and loved ones. You don't have to spend a lot of money at Christmas. People just want to know that you're thinking about them. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave me a comment down in the comment section. See you tomorrow. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. And I hope you'll consider becoming a guest of the Rogers House. And if you are a returning guest, thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly do appreciate it. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I've uploaded more videos. And I want to thank you all for visiting the Rogers House.